With the recent leaks hinting at the possible release of another Mythic AK-117, people seem to have mixed reactions. I've been getting a lot of comments saying things like, why would we want another Mythic AK-117? Many players feel that Mythic skins should be unique and there shouldn't be multiple Mythics for the same weapon. But interestingly, when I posted about this on TikTok, the video went viral. It shows that while people are interested in the idea, they still don't like the concept of multiple Mythic skins for a single weapon. Guys, if you remember back when the game first launched in 2019, the top rarity was actually epic skins. What I mean is, these were the hardest to get, with the lowest drop rates in crates and lucky draws. At the time, I would do anything. Well, not literally die, but I'd play and spend as much as I could just to get an epic skin. If you go back and watch my old videos, you'll see that. But hey, maybe don't do that because my voiceovers and editing back then weren't the best. But then epics became pretty common, especially after they introduced legendary skins as the new top rarity. Just look at the battle pass. There are so many epic skins now, and we don't really care as much about them. Then, about a year later, they introduced mythic rarity. Even though legendaries weren't as common as epics, a lot of players already had legendary skins by that time, so it wasn't rare to see someone using one. The first mythic weapon was released in 2020, and although I can't say for sure, I think we already had around 30 legendary skins at that point. Now fast forward 4 years and we've got over 170 legendaries and 23 mythics in the game. Mythics are now kind of where legendaries were back then, everyone's got their hands on them, and they are not as rare as they used to be. So could this be a hint that a new rarity is coming? With the 5th anniversary just around the corner, it feels like they might be teasing something even bigger for us in the future. I'm not trying to sound cocky, but I'm optimistic here. COD Mobile has come a long way since 2019. It's not the same game we started with, the mechanics have improved, the graphics have gotten way better and the number of players has grown a lot, especially after Warzone Mobile didn't quite take off. Maybe that was unfortunate for Warzone, but fortunate for COD Mobile. Plus with so many new games in the market, it's great to see how much COD Mobile has evolved to keep up. So if they do eventually release the AK-117 Lava Mythic skin, which seems pretty likely since the name placeholder is already there, they might be gearing up to introduce a brand new rarity. Maybe something with the wild name like Eternal or Ultra Deluxe. I mean, Call of Duty Mobile is great at coming up with cool names, so who knows what they have in store for us. Now the big question is, would you like to see a new skin rarity in Call of Duty Mobile? Can a skin actually be better than a mythic when it comes to features? There's definitely a lot we could discuss about that. So drop your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the game is slowly heading in that direction after the 5th anniversary? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it might be happening because I've been playing since the very beginning. Let me know what you think. In the Chinese version of Call of Duty Mobile, there's a new type of lucky draw. Normally with a lucky draw, you spin and wait for the game to give you one of the items items in the reward pool, but in this new format, it's more like a what's behind the card type of system. You can swap the cards when you pay, and if the main reward is behind the card you choose, you get lucky. It's different because unlike a traditional lucky draw where you have to accept whatever outcome you get, here you have more control. You get to choose which card to swap, so it feels like it's in your hands whether you get lucky or not. Plus there are only 6 items and you're guaranteed to get one of them behind the cards. It's easy to feel like COD Mobile might try to hold back the best items until the end, but from my experience with this new format, I don't think it's rigged either. I managed to score a few epic items and although I wasn't lucky enough to get a character skin, it is still felt fair. It's definitely a fun change from the usual lucky draws. We're still in the early stages of discovering what the mythic alias will look like. But let's take a moment to remember the recent competition for the upcoming Dusk skin that we'll get for free next season. There were some impressive concept skins showcased for Call of Duty Mobile, and I think a few of those will eventually make their way into the game. One skin in particular has a fantastic design and could definitely be a contender for the next mythic. I'm imagining that the mythic alias might look something like this because it seems a bit too advanced for just an epic skin. In Call of Duty Mobile, alias is shown as a robotic expert who knows a lot about electronics and technology. I think the mythic version will build on that theme even more. What features would you like to see in mythic alias? Let me know in the comments. On the 25th, the last voyage lucky draw will be available in the store. The main reward is the legendary type 19 deadly gravity, which is one of the meta weapons this season. I think it will stay popular in the next few seasons too definitely making it into the top 10. If you're thinking about getting this instead of waiting for the Mythic Type 19 to return, it could be a great choice. The blueprint has an awesome mind sight with a military theme, maybe even a futuristic one. Plus, we'll also get a brand new character skin called Wooming Drop Trooper. He looks like a futuristic Asian warrior. I'm not super excited about all the items in this lucky draw, but since the game has a military theme, it makes sense that the items are too. The helicopter skin, the emote, and the calling card are definitely my favorites. 
thoughts what about you are you looking forward to this lucky draw that's dropping in just two days let me know in the comments below that's it for today's video i hope it was helpful thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one